If you do not find peace within, you will not find it anywhere else. The goal of life is the attainment of peace, and not the achievement of power, name, fame, and wealth. The mind is responsible for the feelings of pleasure and pain. Control of the mind is the highest yoga. You should always keep your word. All the setbacks in life come only because you don't keep your word. Love beautifies the giver and elevates the receiver. Put your heart, mind, and soul into even your smallest acts. This is the secret of success. Humility is not cowardice. Meekness is not weakness. Humility and meekness are indeed spiritual powers. Don't fear the darkness if you carry the light within. Cultivate peace first in the garden of your heart by removing the weeds of lust, hatred, greed, selfishness, and jealousy. Then only you can manifest it externally. Then only those who come in contact with you will be benefited by your vibrations of peace and harmony. Love expects no reward. Love knows no fear. Love divine gives. Does not demand. Love thinks no evil. Imputes no motive. To love is to share and serve. An ounce of practice is worth a ton of theory. Patient and regular practice is the whole secret of spiritual realization. Do not be in a hurry in spiritual life. Do your utmost and leave the rest to God. Illness begins with I. Wellness begins with we. Make others truly happy as you strive to make yourself happy. Speak a helpful word. Give a cheering smile. Do a kind act. Serve a little. Wipe the tears of one who is in distress. Render smooth a rough place in another's path. You will feel great joy. Do not store in your brain useless information. Learn to unmind the mind. Unlearn whatever has been of no use to you. Then only can you fill your mind with divine thoughts. Forget like a child any injury done by somebody immediately. Never keep it in the heart. It kindles hatred. Thinking of disease constantly will intensify it. Feel always I am healthily in body and mind. Always do good to others. Be selfless. Mentally remove everything and be free. This is divine life. This is the direct way to moksha or salvation. Learn to give. Give in plenty. Give with love. Give without any expectation. One does not lose anything by giving. On the other hand, you get back a thousandfold. There is some truth in everything. 
views and opinions are different aspects. Do not quarrel with others. Individual peace paves the way for world peace. The attainment of inner calm is the greatest work you can do for humanity. Look within. Within you is the hidden God. Within you is the immortal soul. Within you is the inexhaustible spiritual treasure. Within you is the ocean of bliss. Look within for the happiness which you have sought in vain. Life is a series of awakenings. Fear is only in duality. Fear is mind. When you are yourself, there is no fear. Giving is the secret of abundance. A man needs now no more degrees, but character. No more study, but wisdom. There is something good in all seeming failures. You are not to see that now. Time will reveal it. Be patient. Do not brood over your past mistakes and failures. As this will only fill your mind with grief, regret and depression. Do not repeat them in the future. Truth is complete in itself. Truth has a strong foundation in itself. It is bold, it has no fears. It has no limit of space or time. It is a fearless, free bird in the sky. It does not care for status. It is wealth in itself. Truth stands even when there is no public support. Regular meditation opens the avenues of intuitional knowledge. Makes the mind calm and steady. Awakens an ecstatic feeling. And brings the practitioner in contact with the source of his or her very being. To make the mind obey you is a spiritual discipline. Eating, drinking, sleeping, procreating, a little laughter, a lot of tears. Is this all there is to life? Don't die like a worm on the surface of the planet. Wake up and be all that you can be. You are so much more than that. The mind is a product of experience. It is the result of past thinking and is modified by present thinking. The language of silence is the language of God. The language of silence is the language of the heart. Music is the medium for expressing emotion. Music kindles love and infuses hope. It has countless voices and instruments. Music is in the hearts of all men and women. Tolerance is a sign of growth on the spiritual path. A wise person laughs and smiles through the eyes. The smile and laughter through the eyes influence people tremendously. No energy leaks if you smile through the eyes. Why do you read many books? The great book is within your heart. Open the pages of this inexhaustible book, the source of all knowledge. You will know everything. 
If you focus the rays of the sun through a lens, they can burn cotton or a piece of paper. But, the scattered rays cannot do this act. If you collect the dissipated rays of the mind, and focus the matter point, you will have wonderful concentration. Meditation is the royal road to the attainment of freedom. A mysterious ladder, that reaches from earth to heaven. Darkness to light. Mortality to immortality. Conquer your thoughts and you will conquer the world. Let each man take the path according to his capacity, understanding, and temperament. His true guru will meet him along that path. There is no end of craving. Hence contentment alone is the best way to happiness. Therefore, acquire contentment. Never worry about what other people say or think. Do the right. Have a clear conscience and roam about happily. Intuition transcends reason, but does not contradict it. You are already free. You only have to know and realize this truth. Change the mind and you can change the body. Your sole purpose in life is to attain God-realization. All else is useless and worthless. An evil man is a saint of the future. See good in everything. Destroy the evil finding quality. Develop the good finding quality. Rise above good and evil. You are the master of your own destiny. So love, reap peace. So meditation, reap wisdom. Beauty is essentially spiritual. The authentic beauty lies in the heart. Your thoughts should agree with your words, and the words should agree with your actions. In this world, people think one thing, say another thing, and do something else. This is horrible. This is crookedness. The real spiritual progress of the aspirant is measured by the extent to which he achieves inner tranquility. Man is a bridge between the two worlds. The visible and the invisible. When you have succeeded in enshrining God within your heart, you will see Him everywhere. Faith is a belief in the unknown. Faith heals, faith creates, faith works wonders, faith moves mountains. Faith is the searchlight for God finding. The harder the struggle, the more glorious the triumph. Self-realization demands a very great struggle. Be good. Do good. Do thou always without attachment perform action, which should be done. For by performing action without attachment, man reaches the supreme. Know that wealth, sex delights, power, learning, are all bondage. This is the beginning of wisdom. Be tolerant. 
behold the unity of all faiths, cults, creeds, and religions. Respect the views, opinions, and sentiments of all.